Stop. They told me I would never get far like a hundred dollar car. I stay in front of bars, I refuse to take a charge. Long time no see, like the brother of the barge. Her mama with the Lord, what a cuckoo make you large. It's all from the soul, come read a story told. Take a journey, no toll, go north, no pole. Cause I can take it higher, like taking off a load. Feet propped up, lazy boy unfold. I left for a minute, they believed that I was finished. Came back to find they all lost respect that I'm a penman. Like I asked any of them for opinions, how quick they forget I like the start to their beginning. Niggas came to me, I asked them nada. Andrews rock generic and the devil wear Prada. Reels. <laughs> what is going on? Listen, I hope y'all day has been going well. It is Saturday. Um, while I'm filming this at least. Aaron's adulting um, donuts, yummy in my tummy. I'm trying to decide and I feel like I already have my decision, but I'm trying to decide if I want to replace my black cement threes. I personally, in my mind, without looking at them, feel like they're still in pretty good shape. It's the type of shoe I think you can pretty much beat up and it still looks great so we're gonna take a look at my pair um and congratulations to those that hit on the shot drop okay oh first order of business though <laughs> i did i did go ahead and secure the black toe 14s if you saw the last vlog you know that um yeah i didn't do what i needed to do so here we go and shout out to the folks that hit me up um and let me know that snipes had restocked because that's where i got these from multiple people hit me with a message thank each and every one of y'all um that reached out on that regard um once the restock hit i just happened to be looking at my phone and uh i was ready that doesn't always happen so <laughs> it was meant for me to have these so i'm good to go and i'm happy to have them it's a classic um and for me you know I consider myself not a big Jordan head as it relates to my collection and the things that I personally purchase. Obviously, I have a lot of Jordans because I say this all the time, that just kind of comes with it, um, with having a bunch of sneakers. There's a lot of classic Jordans out there for somebody like me. I, my preference is classic Jordans. Every now and then, I'll grab an outlier colorway, but for the most part, it's the classics, and it's a lot of them. And so, naturally, I'm gonna have a lot of them. So, anyway, let's talk Black Cement 3s. Um, let's see, what section am I in? Oh, these are fours. I think this is it right here. Um, I grabbed these in 2018 at, was this, Foot Locker? Yep, Foot Locker. I still have the Foot Locker sticker on here. And um, back when they used to do, how did we used to do it, y'all? Used to, um, before the flex. It was before the Flex app. I think it was the Foot Locker, the Foot Locker app, which I think they've kind of gone back to. But this is back when you used to have to um, go and check in, like days before the release, and then. Um, was that was Foot Locker they used to do that right I can't remember y'all let me know you used to have to go and check in through the app and um you'll find out like the day before the release if you secured a pair if I'm not mistaken that's how it used to go um, but anyway let's check out my pair um I think I wore, actually I wore these within the last week or so um but I didn't really like give them a a, a real look so one thing for certain and this is before we look at it uh, these some random random blue laces that I don't know which suit this came from I just threw them in here one day and now I don't know what shoe they belong to but what I will say is the tag from the 2018 I prefer um, even though <laughs> Even though we don't wear the tags anymore. That used to be a thing. But nonetheless. Um, I prefer. These plastic type of tags. That have like a little plastic frame around them. Versus just like the flat orange. That it looks like. 
the pretty much everything is starting to come in now these reimagined or remastered pair of these are coming with the orange flat tag so anyway and i know that the leather is different on the remastered pair but i feel like my pair is still it's still pretty good and i wear these quite a bit i wear these like a lot <laughs> um yeah yeah my pair is is real clean like real clean well the camera actually makes it look cleaner than it is but this is just confirmation that after I scrub them real nicely that they actually like look I got my insole is still intact black and red I, I always keep the stuffing in the shoe even after I've worn plenty times keep the stuffing in and in fact because I have the stuffing in here on this toe box it probably makes it look better <laughs> Um, now, I don't think the camera is translating, but this Nike logo on the back is a slight bit yellow, but not in a bad way. I don't think they're translating as yellow on camera. So, that's the thing about Canon. Canon will color balance the mess out of your, out of your videos. That's one of the reasons why people prefer Canon, too. <laughs> but anyway, um... Yeah, as you can see, like I said, I've, I've worn these quite a bit. Um, do I still have my stars? I still, I mean, they dragged out a little bit, but toward the toe, if you can see, I mean, my stars are pretty good. So when I say I've worn them a lot, I wear them a lot by the standards of somebody that has a ton of shoes. Hill drag is decent, so this other one, this is the right shoe, so you can kind of see the crease in the toe a little bit more with this one. Apparently my right foot puts in more work. Um, see a little bit of glitter too, but nothing a little wash rag can't fix in that regard. Um, yeah, so pretty much, unless I just want what supposedly is kind of the 88 build which the remastered is supposed to have and the 88 leather which is a smooth leather versus the tumble I pretty much am good to go for the most part so yeah y'all y'all let me know what y'all think my question for y'all is did you have a 2018 pair or retro in previous years? Um, I think, what was it, 2011 before the 2018, right? But anyway, what retro do you have if you have retros? Are they still holding up? Are you still going to get the remaster? Or are you going to, you know, pretty much ride your retro um, from previous drops? Are you going to ride those until the wheels fall off? or until you feel like it's time for another pair. So, I you know for me, it could be a game time decision. I might say, hey, let's go ahead and grab a fresh pair and maybe give those away or something, I don't know. And you know, it, I, I, don't, I don't have any agenda. But what I felt confident about, I felt confident I had a, a pair that was still good to go. And I just confirmed that. Shout out to a fresh clothing, got the hoodie on. Hey, Tay, light skin Tay. You've been, if you're watching this, you've been back from Mexico for about a month, all right? <laughs> I told you, I had clear instructions. Now, <laughs> hit me up. It's time to make some magic, man. So, it's been a lot happening this past week, okay? Um, from, well, it started with a win. Again, got the black toe 14s, all good all ready to go perfect okay secondly um y'all heard about this blue sky app um and are y'all transitioning to the blue sky app so i've been seeing folks saying they was leaving twitter and going to blue sky 
I thought, you know, I thought everybody was transitioning to threads, but I'm not hearing anybody talk about threads, okay? So apparently it's Blue Sky. Blue Sky is supposed to be um, a less toxic version of Twitter. And again, I thought Threads was supposed to be that, but I'm here in Blue Sky. I haven't set up an account yet. So um, I'm considering doing that, but y'all let me know. Listen, I'm not gonna sit up here and act like, <laughs> I'm not gonna sit up here and act like I'm some social media um, expert, okay? I literally feel like this is the first year in a long time that I've been like engaged on the internet and on social media in a way that I hadn't been in probably a couple couple years, okay? Um, and I might be undershooting it. It might have been, might have been a few years, okay? Might have been a few years, but anyway. <laughs> um, so the thing about it is when you take breaks multiple times or extended breaks, you come back and things change right the format of how people post becomes different the platforms clearly can become different even though i understand why people are saying leave twitter to go to something else i, I understand that piece that has nothing to do with me being out of the loop i say that to say i'm, I'm going to create an account on blue sky okay i have no clue if they're gonna let me keep like create a new name or whatever the case might be so I'll keep y'all updated but I bring it up for y'all to let me know if y'all are on Blue Sky yet what do y'all think about Blue Sky um is it better than Threads one of the reasons why I feel like Blue Sky might be better is because I don't necessarily feel like there's a lot of individuals that are interested in the same things I am in I'm interested in are on Threads I get a lot of Threads about political stuff regarding like like black women it's a lot of black women threads it's a lot of um like hr hr advice threads um financial advice threads um during the WNBA season i will say threads was great it was great it was a lot of engagement about the w so that was the one thing I don't feel like when I when I talk about gaming, for instance, I usually don't see anybody like chiming in on gaming. So maybe that's just me not searching for it, but I took threats to be like when you start to bring up a certain subject, then that's that's kind of what your feed starts to become, but it hasn't become that for me. I get a bunch of Chicago threads in my feed. Um which I'm in Chicago, so I'm assuming this is like a regional type of uh, they pull data regionally and kind of lump people together. I have no clue, but my feed is not necessarily it doesn't exactly reflect the things that I'm interested in. So we're gonna try the blue sky and see, you know, if it's better for a sneaker perspective, if it's better for gaming perspective um any sort of just social news and updates sort of sort of stuff um and then i'll let y'all know what i think but again y'all let me know what y'all think because it's hard to keep up with all of this stuff especially for somebody like me who is not addicted to any of this like i'm not addicted to anything social media so i, I want to keep up i want to engage I want to stay consistent so yeah let me know okay lastly lastly I'm only covering this because I was asked to cover this I had plans to never mention this company again it has come down recently that the Nike stock X case um, is drawing to closer to a conclusion um, Nike had filed, I don't know what type of lawsuit it would be, but Nike had filed accusations regarding StockX for having um, pretty much selling fakes, pretty much selling fakes. There was a number attached to it um, as it relates to 77 pairs being fake um, coming through 
stock X to the consumer, but then also too, there's another layer as it relates to, um, there's there was a company that, that was running a fake merchandise ring, okay? And they were saying like over 1800 products were coming through that ring of, of fake products coming through StockX. It seems like, just based off of what I read, um, that there are some unsealed documents stating that StockX is holding themselves accountable and admitting to selling fakes and letting fakes get through and also admitting that their authenticators don't actually know how to authenticate <laughs> sneakers. And I'm giggling. I'm giggling because I'm happy, okay? <laughs> And this is just, it's, I'm giggling too because it's, it's laughable. It's laughable. This company has, this company have, has amassed uh, billions of dollars in valuation over the years. Um, as they've grown from a small company to a much larger one, um, pretty much. I mean, shoot, a lot of folks were going to them over gold. A lot of folks were going to them over eBay because they felt like, because StockX had a, um, a format with the whole stock market um, structure or interface, I think that was more alluring to the customer. Um, that whole era where the StockX tag and having the shoe with the StockX tag, and they just did a lot of pretty sexy things, right? Um, that drew people in but the problem is <laughs> all of that sexy and glitter and all of that stuff made people dumb and I say that to say it's because StockX never really showed um, the true their true ability to be able to authenticate anything of course they promised that they promised that just like with any other authentication sort of platform but I think as they began to grow I think they became a lot more negligent. I think that they believed that their name would carry them through to where people wouldn't necessarily question it or people that complained wouldn't get through the uh, the noise, right? They wouldn't be able to cut through the reputation. I feel confident that if not all of you, some of you have at least somebody, if not yourself, who have had a fake sneaker come through StockX or just something where you had an issue. Um, I know somebody told me that they had sent them two different shoe sizes where one shoe was like a 10 and a half, the other one was 11 and a half, and didn't give them a refund. <laughs> um, I know some folks that received multiple fakes and they couldn't return, or just multiple fakes, um, and they actually got shipped to them versus StockX saying, whoa, stop the brakes. We just send in you this message or this email letting you know, hey, the seller sent some fakes. So we're gonna, you know, do what we need to do to make sure you get your money back or give you uh, credit so that you'll be able to get the other shoe that you will want on your hit list, something like that. Those were not things that StockX did. So there, there had not been a, an honor system with StockX. Um, for a long time, if ever. <laughs> and I am shaky about one way or the other because I stopped using StockX years ago. Okay? It would have it would have it would make six years next year. I haven't purchased anything from StockX and I haven't mentioned anything regarding StockX in my content. Granted, when things like the Nike case comes up, of course, I'm a gloat. I tell my people you're gonna get some gloating because one thing about it, the thing that they neglected years ago when I was ranting about that hacking situation when multiple accounts were being hacked, um, they did not rectify that situation. People lost money, okay? People lost money. The only thing they did, I think, was start like a two-factor authentication process, but there was never any sort of uh, reclamation or just something to show their customers like, hey, we messed up, okay? So we're gonna do this thing for you uh, so that you understand that like, hey, 
who got the situation handled and you won't have to worry about that again okay so i don't think that they hold themselves accountable a whole lot okay <laughs> and so as it relates to nike um in that situation with them for StockX to say hey yeah yeah that happened that happened that amount of shoes or products um came through our building and we still shipped them to the customer that happened and let you know and that's another thing i spoke to others about them putting a number on it whether it be the lower end or the higher end the 77 pairs or the 1800 pairs or items that lets me know that that's all that was accounted for okay and again i'm giggling because it's comedy to me which means that there could be plenty more that came through there okay nike's not the only one that comes through there not only could it be more than that as it relates to the nike brand but these other um like designer brands and all of that stuff there's a lot of counterfeit types of items that they sell outside of nike nike's just the one that holds a lot of power to be able to say hey we're about to crack down because nike just happens to be in that crackdown era <laughs> we've seen it with the the um the custom the famous customizers out there that nike's been kind of swinging that whip on so naturally they were coming for stock x i assume in the coming days months whatever the case there'll be some sort of uh progress made as it relates to the case i am no law expert no nothing so i don't want to call it a lawsuit or any specific lawsuit or call any particular point in the case because i don't know at what point they are in um i just know the latest information is that StockX has um pretty much has written documented verbiage admitting to to the transgression okay <laughs> so they file they file so i'm looking forward to that i do know being from michigan i do want to preface well, it's too late to preface but i do want to say <laughs> being from michigan and understanding the resurgence of downtown detroit i want to say again i appreciate the economy that the StockX has brought to downtown Detroit, okay? Their existence in the city has been a positive thing. It's brought jobs. I do believe they did have some layoffs or something like that over the years or more recently or whatever the case. I'm not sure about the timing. But um, they brought jobs. They brought economy in a city that is working on rebuilding, okay? I don't know what becomes of StockX after this case is over with. Um, I don't know if they, again, billion dollar company, they, they will probably continue on, but they've also made enough money to pivot as well. So we'll, we'll see what the direction will be. Will people trust them after all of this or continue to trust them or will they lose a significant amount of uh, a customer base? That's the biggest piece, you know, will people continue to purchase from a, from a platform and company that has more than once, more than once done us dirty, okay? And I say us because I'm, I fall into consumer. I'm a consumer just like you. More than once they've done something negligent. Took your money <laughs> whilst doing the negligence and continue to take your money whilst doing the negligence on multiple occasions never holding himself accountable never like sending you a follow-up email and saying hopefully you enjoyed your product um we did however find that there may be a situation da 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 da, -da. if you like to inquire um send us a message send the product back whatever the case and we will rectify it just something to reinforce we give a damn and listen, I air, I air out my own laundry. I posted it on IG on multiple occasions. Yes, I went to StockX Day when they were they used to do StockX Day with content creators. I, I was a part of StockX Day. I went. I was excited. I considered myself having a good time. But there are some certain pieces to the day, and I can talk about it on a separate occasion, but there are certain components to the day that made me understand um, 
that something like this could happen. Let's, let's just put it like that. For the sake of cutting this a little bit shorter than it, oh. it could be. Okay. So, but y'all let me know. Have y'all been rocking with StockX for the multiple of years that they've existed up to today? Had y'all started wiping y'all hands with them um, back in, what, 2019 when they started that whole security issue situation? Um, had you started slowing down pickups if you if you were more aggressive earlier on and you still pick, you know, still rock with them, but you just, you just sparingly, you sparing with your pickups? Um, are your pickups more on the sparing? Are your pickups lighter? <laughs> um, like where do, where do you stand with this you know um or are you rocking with other platforms just in general and you never really had a preference you just kind of went with where you felt like you could get the shoe for the best price y'all let me know but again i haven't rocked with stock X for years going on six years um and i haven't missed them so i've been doing just fine i've still been picking up what i want to pick up um what to everybody else i've been on eBay since the early 2000s. I've been with GOAT since 2016. So I'm not missing anything. Oh, and I'm in Chicago, but we got plenty of stores. <laughs> I have a great relationship with one of them. <laughs> so, <laughs> so a couple things. Did y'all get y'all Black Soul 14? Did y'all get y'all Isle of Nine? Did y'all get y'all Wu-Tang Dunk High? Those were the ones that I, I mentioned in previous videos with the early review. Those to me were like the highlights of November in terms of Nike. Or did y'all go and grab something else? Blue Sky. Remember, let me know in the comment section. Y'all rocking with Blue Sky? Y'all thinking about it? Did you already sign up for it? You already rocking with it? Let me know what they hit and follow. Shame on StockX. But y'all let me know where y'all stand with all of this falsehood in the game and that being one of the bigger names as it relates to the digital resale space okay the falsehoods are running rampant they've always been around but it's one thing to have the official papers that say yes we did it um as it relates to what's next for me again could be a game day decision with the black cement remasters um might grab some little little uh size pairs since it's the holiday season so if not for me might grab a couple still for the little feet um so i have multiple uh little people in my life probably copper phones probably copper phones as far as nike is concerned i have so many reach backs to get i may just go ahead and just grab uh, one last reach back but for the year and call it a year and we'll talk about next year a little bit more in a different video but anyway hit me in the comment section this video was loaded with uh topics so whatever appeals to you talk to me y'all know i respond hit that like button hit that subscribe button and uh until next time <laughs> peace